Tracking time can be useful in many ways, most importantly so you can get reimbursed by your customers when working on their jobs. This video covers how to set up time tracking. If you want to follow along, open the working file called Landworks underscore time underscore mileage. Companies track time for a variety of reasons. Service-based businesses have customers who pay for those services, so tracking time needs to be fairly precise. Also, tracking time on projects can help when scheduling jobs and generating estimates in the future. QuickBooks has a couple of ways you can keep track of time. You can enter time while you're doing the work on a project using the built-in stopwatch, which logs your hours as you work. Or you can fill out a single activity timesheet or a weekly timesheet. To track time, you'll need to turn on the time tracking features. When you set up your company file, QuickBook might have turned on the time tracking based on your type of business or if you indicated you wanted to track time. So let's make sure it's turned on. So we'll go to Edit, Preferences, Time and Expenses. Click the Company Preferences. Here, as you can see, time tracking has been turned on by QuickBooks, but if it were no, you would just click yes to turn it on. And then you would choose the day of the week you want to start with on your weekly timesheets. This option determines if the billable checkbox on a timesheet is pre-checked or unchecked. If you always want to say that time is billable, keep this option checked. Or if you just want to track time without billing a customer, uncheck the option. It just depends on what you do most often. You can always change whether or not it is billable on the timesheet. These options will cover in the video that talks about invoicing for reimbursed expenses. So let's click OK. And let me just show you what I was talking about when I was talking about the billables checkbox. So here, because we left that option checked, this billable checkbox is checked by default. You could change it here by just removing the checkbox. Let's go ahead and close this. And now we'll need to set up some service items for tracking time. You probably already set up some service items if you provide services to customers and those service items can be billed to your customers. But you might want to create a few service items to use internally on timesheets that aren't billable. For example, if you want to track how much time you or your employees spend doing certain tasks, create a service item for those tasks. If you want to track time spent on administrative tasks, create a service item called admin tasks. Other examples include marketing, training, maintenance and repairs, bookkeeping, meetings, shelf stocking, and so on. So to set up an internal non-billable service item, click Items and Services to open the item list. And let's go to Item and click New. It's a service item, so select that. And in the item name number field, let's type a name. Let's type Admin. And leave the Rate field empty because you're not actually going to charge anyone for this service. In the Account field, Choose Add New. Let's go up to the top. And here we're going to be creating a fake income account. It's fake because nothing will get posted to the account and you're not selling these services to customers. So give the account a name. Let's call it Non Billable Admin Tasks. And click Save and Close. If this non-billable service is being performed by a 1099 vendor, create a separate service item, except you would check the this service is used in assemblies or is performed by a subcontractor or partner checkbox. This way, you could assign the cost to an expense account and also keep track of the subcontractor's time. And let's go ahead and save this admin task service. So click OK. One more thing, because tracking time is associated with customers and jobs, you also need to create a fake customer to use for non-billable tasks. So let's close the item list and create a new customer. And let's just call the customer company tasks. So all we need to do is 
enter the name. We don't need to fill out anything else, so click OK. Let's close the Customer Center. The next thing is setting up people who track time. If you have employees, you could set them up by going to Employees and going to the Employee Center. If you have 1099 vendors, you could set them up in the Vendor Center. And other videos covered how to do that. If you are a sole proprietor or you have coworkers or partners, you need to add yourself or co-owners to the other names list. As a sole proprietor or co-owner, you don't get paid through a paycheck. Instead, you take what's called an owner's draw. And to add a name to the other names list, go to the list menu, Other Names List. Click Other Names and New. And you could add yourself. And click OK. Let's go ahead and close this. And that's it for setting up time tracking.